All right, anyways, it's one thirty-seven. Abby gets home at 3 o'clock, so, uh, you know, if we cut out all the horrible shit that we're probably going uh, yeah. we to say, we have to get going. Um, uh, okay, Impromptu Podcast with, uh, did I start this thing? Did I rec- yeah, it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> Impromptu <laughs> Podcast. Uh, daycare shut down because coronavirus has crept its way into my county. So um, it, it's in the mood to ruin lives. My grandma's in quarantine. Everybody's in quarantine. Daycare shut down, so I'm Mr. Mom during the fucking week. Abby's work shutting down, so I'm going to be sitting in uh, in the house with her. And so I have like a th- hour and a half window until this starts, until everybody's home for good. And so I, you know, I was going to go for someone like uh, John Travolta as my next guest, but uh, I just had to look around and see what I could find. Skip out on that for now. Yeah. So I just got a uh, uh, fungal toe. <laughs> Average fucking joke. You know what's funny is I looking in comparison to the other guests, people are going to be wondering what the fuck this is. He's, like just, uh, I, I'm nothing. <laughs> no, nah, he, he's, he's been in videos and stuff. This is him. Bit, yeah. I'm, on, I got the I got the fucking picture frame up. We'll find a flattering picture of you. So I'll put a nice flattering picture right there. Is that your mom coming in? <laughs> yeah, now my mom's part of the podcast too. You might as well say hello. Just say, just Hi, say hello, mom. Hello. <laughs> Why are you saying like a fucking robot? Are you an AI? Hello. There you go. Hello. Yeah, yeah sure. Just whatever. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. But yeah. I'm sure there's a flattering photo out there. Yeah, this is some professional shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I still hear it going. I was just like, what fucking hell? <laughs> is your mom the only parent, like a single parent? Uh, yeah, she is now. Yeah. Yeah, I could smell that vibe. You could smell that. That's weird. Yeah, I could. You can sense it when talking to you. Why'd you can you tell Mama's boy through. <laughs> through. Dude, I am. I can't. I can't help it. Yeah. Hey, you want to hear something fucking weird about me? That like looking back on it, it's like <laughs> doesn't bode well for like my like. I'm sure if I ever had a therapist, they'd be like, "Yeah, let's dwell on that some more." <laughs> when I was in like elementary school, even I used to sit on my mom's lap, like facing her, <laughs> like straddling her, like I just mm. look her in the eyes, and I used to sit there and make her look at my Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd be like, okay, look, you can show me five more of these things and then we're done. And I'm like, okay, shh, 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 turn off the TV. All right, mom, <laughs> this is Diglett. <laughs> he, he sits in the ground. That's what he does. And I'd like hold it up and show it to her. <laughs> you know what? I feel like if we're going to talk about things that are quite like shameful, honestly, I feel like I can like, I, I beat everyone in this, in this uh, competition because of the whole, um, Tip milk till I was five deal. I feel like that's a that's a that's an interesting subject right there. Yeah, we uh well we talked about this at the end of my hunt showdown video, but I that thing didn't do so well. I thought it would do a lot better than it did. So we can bring that back up. We can drag that back up from your Why embarrassing not? past. Yeah. Fungal uh he got breastfed till he was five. Just <laughs> fucking strange. And it's it's interesting too because like no one believes me that like I don't really remember it. My mom always just tells me about it. Like I, I really I might as well fucking get her in here to verify it. She's part of this thing yeah, now. Yeah, but like, I, can I talk to her? Can you bring her in? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't. I'm not sure we can go into a full conversation, but I can definitely get her to verify it. You know? Okay. But um, I mean, I, I genuinely could get her to verify it. I'm really not too bothered. Not too bothered. <laughs> mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> She disappears, but no, no, genuinely, I, I, I don't know, I don't know why. Apparently, she, she always says that I was, um, like hankering for the like, tit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> constantly, constantly nagging. Like, I would cry. Apparently, like if yeah. she wouldn't, like, because I think, I think a part of it was, um, because my sister's a couple of years younger than me. I think uh-huh. I just, I, I was supposed around the time I was supposed to stop. She was kind of probably just like born. She was starting, so your so mom like, started double fisting it. Like yeah, so she was just one one after the one other, just like arm. you know, just dual wielding. Um, yeah. So I think I think maybe it was just jealousy. <laughs> I huh. like I wasn't constantly attached to the fucking teat. Yeah. Um, you know. You know what my mom said. Uh, I I grew up without getting breastfed. You know, mm. which explains my small weakling stature. You know, and. uh 
and my horrible immune system. Uh, what it was is my mom breastfed my brother, and he only wanted to latch on to one tit. <laughs> just like it was like her left one or just something. Just one? Like yeah, just one. And, and he fucking sucked like a hoover on that thing <laughs> oh, <laughs> as God. hard as he could. And, like, it made one of my mom's tits bigger than the other. <laughs> One big so, swelled up tit. Yeah, so like one's like, because it had like more blood flowing through it. Yeah, yeah. And so then my mom's like, well, fuck that. I ain't breastfeeding the next one. So <laughs> she had me and she's like, nah, nah, nah. Formula is the way to go with you. <laughs> Anyways, let, let's move on. Because a uh, really important thing. This is something that was going through. I almost dropped my fucking Coke on my, on my laptop. This is an important thing that was going through the Discord a couple days ago. And I think everybody is finally wanting me to squash the debate on this. Mm -hmm. Do you stand or sit while wiping? I must have missed this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I like, kind of stand. I'm not going to lie. What the fuck? Dude, okay, so here's the thing. is I'm sitting there talking to a group of people, and, like, yeah. one guy said it, right? He just goes, yo, dude, do you stand or sit while wiping? And I thought it was a joke because, like, the joke is, like, do you uh do you wipe back to front or that's usually the question or yeah, do you that's, yeah. do you stand or sit while peeing is like another one because some people just like <laughs> sit while they pee because like yeah I might poop while I'm here but I've never heard do you stand or sit while wiping and then as soon as like I was about to make fun of him like oh that's a funny joke Logan goes yeah I stand and I'm like wait what? <laughs> <laughs> what then that, when you stand up then they just mush your butt cheeks okay. together and like get the shit everywhere instantly you felt like the outcast no okay yeah. listen. I, th I feel like it depends. I'm sticking to my guns on this one, dude. I don't give a fuck if, if everybody stands. I'm doing it right. I sit and wipe like a fucking civilized man. When you're saying squat, or when, when they're saying squat, do they mean like, are we talking like, when I? because when I say stand, I mean kind of like, I'm still kind of a bit hunched over, but like, I'm not fully, I'm not like fully straight like a stick, you know? Like I'm not Does just your like... ass leave the toilet seat? How about okay, that? Okay, yes, yes. Yes, so what, what do you what do you do? Just like... Just like it's kind of like a bit of a hover, you know, like if you were to like hover shit. Yeah. It's kind of like hover and then like I like bend forward. I don't know. I'm like doing it in real life right now, but yeah, I can hear your voice got really far away from your mic. <laughs> I can hear it. You're like, um, and yeah, it's like a bit of a hover, I guess. <laughs> it's really fucking muffled. Yeah. No, dude, the the supreme way is just lifting one ass cheek. What? Yeah, just lean. Like, and getting your hand trapped in there, but then what if like. I don't know what it feels like. And a bit then awkward, you okay, no. you just lean a little bit like you're about to fart. Wipe yeah. your ass. Look at the paper. Sniff the paper. <laughs> and then throw it back in the toilet. You missed the part where you give it a quick lick. Yeah. <laughs> Taste it. Make sure huh? you don't have some sort of Oh, is that your it's mom? A... Yeah, it's it's all right now, Mom. It's all right. Don't worry no, no, it's not all right. I need to talk okay. to her. It's not all right. Come, come here, come here. Um yeah. <laughs> we were talking about how it was breastfed till I was oh, five. Yeah. Why? Oh, yeah. Because you didn't want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you just allowed it to carry on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were just nice and quiet. Nice and quiet? What do you mean by that? Well, I could shut you up right quick. <laughs> <laughs> when you were saying crying. Oh, fair enough. I carried on feeding you both till you went to school. Oh, okay. Till I went to school? Wait, was it five? Oh, no, just turn before you were five. Okay, school. okay, yeah. You're about four now. So. Oh, okay. Wait, can I talk to her? Can you put the headphones on? Wait, wait, do you want to put the headset on? I want to, I want to talk to you. Oh, is it? Just Sam. Yeah. Sam. Sam the man. Sam the man. Sam the man. Hello. I wouldn't be, be able to hear him now, so. Hello. No, you're Hello? talking to him. Hello. Microphone. Hey, hey, it's nice to meet you. You're Fungal's mom, right? I'm Josh's mom. Josh's <laughs> mom. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know his actual name. That's just, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I, I was wondering, um, th this is for like a show thing that I'm doing. Is that all right? Yeah. Whatever. What? Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Podcast, so, yeah. do you, did you think that at some point, like, does it surprise you at all that Josh doesn't remember bre uh, breastfeeding at five? Remember, thank God he doesn't remember. <laughs> I always thought that was that was funny, thinking that like you know yeah, nobody else no, remembers remember. breastfeeding. <laughs> no, I still don't remember it, dear Josh. Thank God. Yeah, that's that'd be pretty weird. So, what you just use it as a way to like shut him up if yeah, he's being loud? Yeah, just yeah. Put him Boob in his mouth is fine. <laughs> Do you think that it's, it's, uh, made him, it's made him very brainy? I think brainy. Furthest, furthest from it. Furthest from it. Do you it, think that fine. explains his current uh, attitude in life? Probably, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. You think he's milk. a product of that late he's breastfeeding? A product of the breast milk. <laughs> yeah. Did you know your son has a strange infatuation with breasts? Really? That's all he I'm, talks about on his free time. Did I you know? I have no that? idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't ask yeah. him things about that. You don't ask him things? Well, let me tell you something. That's all he talks about. Oh, well, that's he, he should probably see somebody about it. Well, I don't even want to know what yeah. he's yeah. going to <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask. He, don't, he ain't going to ask. He says. I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was nice meeting you. Thanks for coming nice in here. Nice to meet you. Yes, yeah, speak later. Bye. All right, bye. Bye. Chance to put the speaker on this thing again. I'll let you go, dude. Your mom's a cool lady. Yeah, kind of. She, she, yeah. She's all right. She's all right, dude. She fed you from her lifeblood for yeah. for years past oh, when oh, she oh, should have. Wonderful woman. Yeah. <laughs> this was a treat. It was a treat. Yeah. Anyways, I told I told her that um uh you're. Uh, you have an insane <laughs> lust for breast after after breastfeeding oh, wow. for that long. I was like, <laughs> that's know. all he talks about is just women's breasts. Uh, you should probably know that. You should probably get him to see a therapist or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm just like, I don't talk about them with this. <laughs> it's true. We don't talk about that here. All right. So anyways, back to wiping. <laughs> We're just getting off topic. Yeah, yeah we're getting off topic. Situation. Back to wiping. Like that, the whole standing thing, Logan says it, right? That he, he's a stander. But then I was thinking about like, um, I don't know what you look like, really, like full mm. body, right? But I, I went to the movies with Logan and I went to high school with Logan. And, well, I, I went to the movies with him and I hadn't seen him in like a decade, right? Because, mm. I mean, we've talked playing games for the whole time, but it, he moved down south and everything. So this was like the first time I've seen him in a long time. And uh, and when we went to the movies, I got to see his adult self. Now, the dude is kind of built like a T-Rex. Like, he's all legs, which explains why he does the whole tennis thing, right? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he's like, he's all legs. So I can understand it from his point of view. You know, he's got them big old legs and everything, this big muscular thighs. Mm. And I'm sure his butt cheeks are like this giant <laughs> crevasse with shit in the middle. Like, I could understand... <laughs> Maybe having to stand up and do like a big squat or something like that. In order really to get in there. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm assless. I really ain't got a whole lot going on here. I'm built like uh, Kermit the Frog from the waist down. <laughs> I just got like a fat gut, you know, and I got like a Hank Hill ass. And so it's easy for me to just like lean over a little bit, clean my little starfish. Do a quick one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But are you like leg heavy? <laughs> I mean, so to speak? I'd, I'd, say, I'd say I've got so, I've got something going on down there. You know, I'm I'm. I'm I've got something to work with down there, you know. I've got, I've got a, some, some. I've got thick fucking thighs, and big ass. Yeah, yeah I've got really got to get in there, dude. Yeah, big ass. Yeah, really got to get in there. You know, I don't um, know. I think that. Honestly, I think it's just like it's just nice to just, you know. It's get just made nice sure. to inconvenience yourself by completely standing up off the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you consider it inconvenience. I consider it like you know a, a nice little treat for a myself. Privilege. Sometimes. Just, That's a first yeah, world. Privilege, yeah. That's first world privilege. Being able to stand up after <laughs> shitting. Would you ever? Would you ever use a bidet? A bidet? What's a bidet? It's those things that like spray water up into your asshole. Um, why not? Give it a try. Yeah, that's what it's like. I'd I'd always heard that. Everybody always talks about like, oh, that's kind of fruity, you know, having water spray around your butthole and stuff, and it seems like Mm -hmm. it's messy and everything. I went to, uh, I went to Colorado, and when I was in Colorado, we stayed in like, whenever I do like an Airbnb place for uh, a vacation. I spend a lot of time in advance trying to find like a cool contemporary house that I would never buy to like live in, but mm. would be cool to just stay in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause people like contemporary places, but uh, when you're in them, you're also like, wow, this isn't very cozy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not like good long-term living. Like the bat cave is cool, but you don't want to live in the it's fucking practical. bat cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not practical. So we stayed in like the super contemporary place and uh, in the bathroom, Abby's like, what the fuck is that? You got like a toilet and then you have a second toilet next to it. It looks like a bird bath. <laughs> it's got a little spout of water that comes up. And uh, we figured out it was a bidet. So I was like, oh, you want to try it? And she's like, no, I'm not trying that. It might like move shit from my asshole and then straight up into my vagina with like a water <laughs> like, oh, spray it up there with the water. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll try this thing out. Dude, I'm telling you right now, it's about the best goddamn experience I've ever had on yeah. the toilet. <laughs> Shit straight really? up almost turned me gay, dude. It just, uh, yeah, yeah. That it was just the wife right there and then, trying to <laughs> right there and then. 
She was like, what's taking you so long to shit? And I was like, it, honestly, you know how usually women, uh, they get mad at you because you go take a dump and then you're actually playing on your phone for like 45 minutes? Yeah, it's not that I was done it. shitting after four minutes the rest of the time. <laughs> Was, was just, just sitting on the bidet. Yourself. Yeah, it was just sitting on the bidet, looking at pictures of hunky men on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> Hopefully, one day you'll replace the bidet with a man spitting into your ass instead. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. That's <laughs> what I want. You know, I was talking about this with uh, with you know, Logan. You've talked to him, right? Uh, once or twice, not much. Okay, well, he's like, uh, we. He's like the boy next door in terms of like. He's like everybody's moral compass, especially mm. Brian's. God damn, dude, that kid's a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Brian's a fucking piece of work. But uh, he's our moral compass. He's always he, he's the voice of reason. Mm. He's like Mister Liberal, you know, Mister Progressive. Yeah. Oh, that's not ethical. That kind of guy. And so I was sitting there asking him. I was like, we we're talking about uh, Jeff Bezos. He's so fucking rich, yeah, so unfathomably rich, and he's middle aged. So he's like at the age right now where he could pay someone in cold, hard cash. Every time he takes a shit, he could pay someone enough cash to just lick his ass clean <laughs> and never run out of money. Still be rich. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. And then, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and then we were talking, Brian's like, well, you can get like a fucking crack order to do that for like $5,000, maybe even less. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 I'm not. This is Jeff Bezos' asshole. He doesn't want to get something like an STD while he's getting his asshole. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the, he, he can afford like B-list celebrities, you know, like yeah. as long as nobody finds out about it. <laughs> and he can afford a couple million every time, you know, he takes his shit. He mm-hmm. makes millions a day, doesn't he? Uh, uh, yeah. I would think so. <laughs> it's not, I mean, he could, he could probably, I'd say he probably get anyone. I, I think he could convince anyone. With the amount of money he's got. I don't think there's a person alive that he couldn't convince to do that for a certain amount of money. Well, then we're asking Logan, what's your price? Because <laughs> he obviously <laughs> did not, he did not condone the conversation we were having. Oh, God. He's like, oh, this is, this is an ethical. <laughs> All right, Logan, how much would you have to get paid to lick his asshole clean? And it, his, his answer was like, if I remember correctly, it was like a couple million. I was like, no, 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 I'm talking... Well, yeah, because he has billions, right? So you're obviously yeah. going to shoot for a couple million because he can afford it. But yeah. I mean, I'm assuming there's also a list of other people out there that are willing to do it for less. You know, it's like it's like bidding right. on a job for the state. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. If you don't, if you don't go, uh, if you go too high, you'll go with someone else. The next right. quote under you, you know. And so, I mean, what what's your price? Honestly, just because of like how much how much he's got. I feel like, like you said, like I'm, I'm, I'd be kind of scared that someone else would just go for some, go cheaper and just, you know, steal the job away from me. Yeah, I maybe you know five hundred thousand. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand because, like, I mean, I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. It's Jeff Bezos. He might even like it and give me a tip. Who knows? Well, yeah, he's a pretty clean cut guy. I imagine he probably he gets his head waxed and everything. I'm assuming his asshole is pretty clean too. Right? Like probably he can't shaved. Be that much down there. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just. He I feel seems like, like he be... has a good diet, you know. Yeah. I think he's sure. vegan. I'm not I, sure I, if that I, adds to the cleanliness of the yeah. shit or anything. Who knows? Yeah. I, I mean, he's still shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it takes away from it. You he's know, I had shit, uh, but... a lot of people in my family are like really against vegetables, and the only vegetables mm-hmm. they eat are like green beans, string beans. I don't know if you have those over there, but it's like a yeah. southern, yeah, or like yeah. collard greens, maybe. But um, uh, they're really against vegetables for some reason so they're like carnivores through and through and they always have like explosive diarrhea bowel problems like i'm like yeah. you realize the only people that shit like you guys are the people that have like crohn's disease all right <laughs> this is not something that's normal you want you might want to introduce some fiber into that diet can't be eating fucking filet mignons Listen. for breakfast lunch and dinner <laughs> some people just enjoy just constantly shitting dude some people enjoy that life you know, I like shitting, but I like, I like telling the toilet when the shit's gonna go in it. I don't, <laughs> I don't like the shit dictating my life. You know what I mean? The shit controls you. You don't control the shit. Yeah, they'll be like in the middle of a conversation. And they'll be like, "Excuse me, I must." <laughs> it's poopy time. The poopy calls. <laughs> like motherfucker, I'm about to get married. Like, can't you just sit down for two <laughs> seconds? <laughs> Oh God, dude! Yeah. Nah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I actually wouldn't mind a poop dictate in my life every once in a while. Could be fun. Just random moments. 
You could get some really nice shit. awkward moments out of that. Yeah, funerals. Guess. Funerals could be fun. You know, I've always really thought of the uh, um. I've always thought of this device you could have like uh, put on around your asshole, where it would mm-hmm. be like a colostomy bag. But colostomy bags are very invasive. They end up like cutting your intestines, and then oh. and then they attach like this valve onto it with a hose and everything. It seems very invasive. Yeah. This is just like a stick-on thing that goes around your asshole. And have you have you guys ever seen have you ever seen a diaper genie? No, I have not. It's like a bag. Have you ever seen how a sausage is made? <laughs> yes, yes, I've seen how Where they shove meat yeah. into like the casing that's all wound yeah. up. It would be yeah, like yeah. that, like sausage casing around your asshole. And then when you shit, it just bags it. It bags it. <laughs> and then you just you just twist it and it fucking seals it right up. Seals it off. Cauterizes Seven the end. Boom. And then yep. you got a turd in a sack. Honestly? That's ingenious. Get it patented right now. Why? Stalt, delete this out of the podcast. <laughs> Don't this. show this to anyone. Don't show this. And it, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be patent number 4,863,494 because <laughs> this is this is, gonna, this is what's going to take us. And before you know it, we're going to be paying Jeff Bezos to lick our assholes. Right? Yeah, he's going to be right behind me right now. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just gaming, dude. Licking all that yeah. gamer gunk off my ass. <laughs> okay, Don't imagine you. this. It's a cold winter day. You're mm. playing games, but you also right. have to shit. Ooh. You shit. Right there in your office, right? It bags yeah. it up. You take the squishy poop in the bag. That's nice and warm. It's so warm. And you place it in front of your keyboard and use it as a rest for your wrist, you know? <laughs> Cutting down a carpal tunnel, warming your hands, and you pooped all at the same time. No mess. Dude, I, I was sold the minute you said that it's nice and warm. Like, not just that warm feeling. No you don't smell, though. No smell. No, sm- no smell? Really? <laughs> yeah, none. No, it just it's book, insulated. Dude. It's completely... Your butthole does not see the light of day. Uh, I don't know about that. It's kind of... Mm, <laughs> you I, need a little bit of funk. It, man. Like, it's, <laughs> come on. If it doesn't smell bad, then it's just boring. It needs to smell. I don't like the warmth and the sight without the smell. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. You know? Yeah. All right. Um, oh, wait. On to, on to the next thing. I have a list of shit that we should talk about. I, keep, I always say that because that's like my inability to transition between things. But uh, what I was going to talk about was the, uh, what does it say here? Poke fungal in the eye. <laughs> fungal, I'm not in the room with you. Can you can you go ahead? I, can, I mean, the problem is I can't really do that. I've got glasses on. <laughs> oh, shit. You fucking on, four-eyed I'm, nerd. I'm giving it a Can you hear it? <laughs> fucking dork. That's me trying to poke myself in the eye. Unfortunately, I can't remove them. They're stitched to my fucking head. <laughs> do you have the, have you, have you ever seen the action goggles? Action goggles, no. Yeah, they're like they're goggles that have prescription lenses in them. What? There was this kid that had like there was this kid that had like this helicopter mom in elementary school. Right. His name was Billy. (laughs) And and Billy, I think, had some sort of learning disability. Okay. Whenever he went to go like play, it it wasn't enough that he was in like special classes. He was just Mm. the odd kid in class. Whenever he went to go, like, play with us, his mom would go, Billy! Like, she was always there, even when no other parents were there. She was just there. (laughs) On the, like, all the time. Even, like, during school, she would just, like, show up. Wait, in school time? She'd be there? Yeah! She would just, like, show up and, like, do stuff. It was weird. So, anyways, uh, whenever he would go to play, she'd be like, Billy! Billy! Come here! Give me your glasses, Billy! And he'd be like, okay, mom, he'd give her her glasses. And then she would give him these fucking things that look like swimmer's goggles. (laughs) But they were... (laughs) prescription i forget what he called them they're like action goggles or something like that he's like they're my action goggles <laughs> why was he wearing them though I wanted because, them to be, because apparently this fucking idiot had fallen so many times and like broken his glasses his mom was like here we'll get him something that he can't fall and break they're action goggles they had an elastic <laughs> band that went around the back i really want to replace the arms of my glasses with just an elastic band just an elastic band to strap them to your head <laughs> just like, Pull there's, them there's forward and idea, just dude. let go of them so they slap back onto my face. <laughs> it's the it's new a, adjustment. It's a new idea to patent right now again. You okay, just delete this part, Stalt. <laughs> delete this. We're patenting uh, <laughs> action, fucking action goggles. goggles, but for the discerning gentleman. Well, I knew that, like, I know some people uh, like wear, like, people who need glasses and also play sports. I know some people wear, like, goggles for that shit. Like, yeah, there was basically like, that. I've never, I've never seen people who just wear them just. Oh, they fall over a bunch, so here's some action goggles. Like, yeah. You have well, to his mom was really fucking, protective. You have to be in the middle of a retard if you need fucking action goggles to run around a fucking like, playground. 
Like, well, like I, I said, know. this kid was uh, he was different. <laughs> We'll leave it different. We're not going too harsh on him. Yeah, different. We've already made fun of his action goggles. Oh, I think I see what I, I meant by poking you in the eye. What it was is you verbally poke Fungal in the eye oh, because he's been playing League a lot and it's got me to play League a lot. <laughs> That's what it says. That's true, actually. You, you, like, you got on League when like TFT came out. And like, I tried. I, I think you got me to try like normal League. I just wasn't into it. And I tried it recently. <laughs> And, and you weren't playing at the time, but, like, all of a sudden, now you're back on it again. League is a virus, dude. It I is. started playing that thing a long time ago, and I got into it, and I got really into it, and that's all I played. And then I, I got out of its grasp, and I was like, I'm never touching that fucking thing. Finally. Again. And then one year later, I started playing it hard again and mm. played it for six months. And then I dropped it, and I was like, oh, I'm never going to touch it again. And I felt like I had done it because it has been – like a year and a half or something, maybe even two years. And then dipshit Dan, that's you, by the way. <laughs> me, yeah, me. Starts playing it every fucking day. And, you know, you know Sam felt like getting in there and uh, 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 flexing a little bit, you know, showing him how <laughs> Destruction Man goes. And uh, and so I got on there, and now that I'm, like, hooked on phonics, man. I can't get off. It's, it's weird, too, because I feel like it's... Um... It's made for that, like, it's made to just constantly want you to come back, because, like, that feeling when you get, like, a bunch of fucking kills in a league game, the adrenaline. Yeah. Dude, nothing beats that, man. Okay, and admit, bro, I was popping off earlier today. I dude, was... you, you popped off as looks earlier today, bro. Like, I was popping off, off and, like, it was, okay, when, that game's so weird. When you try hard, you don't do well. That game, yeah. I had this entire setup, my whole desk, I had dragged it down the hallway and through the kitchen into the living room, and I had, like, my daughter screaming the entire time about something. Oh, she was trying to put a book on a shelf. <laughs> she oh, was yeah. there with this book, like sliding it on book. the shelf, and then she would let go, and the book was too long for the shelf, so it would just fall off. And she was just going, ah! <laughs> screaming the whole time. And I'm just like, uh huh, honey, you got it. <laughs> I'm couldn't really couldn't get ahead on it. Fucking hard scoping, motherfuckers, with that old man. I was ridiculous. No, oh, yeah, dude. but the whole point I brought this up was uh, you've heard about the lawsuit. At Riot Games, right? No, there's a lawsuit. Yeah, the uh, the C no, not the CEO, the COO, which I think is Chief Operationals Officer or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. The COO has a lawsuit against them um, because of uh, <laughs> because of uh, things that he does at work. Apparently, he would rip farts in people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> He would grab people's balls, and and his defense was he he was perpetuating bro culture. <laughs> bro, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I just love it when me and my brothers just fart in each other's faces. He, yeah, and grab each other's balls and <laughs> right. Come and uh and so he's doing all this shit, and he's thinking he's like building up a a, a good team or whatever, yeah. right? Like, hey, you know, farting in each other's faces. That's how you make male bonding, you know. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and. Uh, and so then, right, obviously a pretty sexist company, right, mm. which uh, because they, they also um, were slapping girls' asses and stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's a lot of That's women the that filing sexual sexual harassment. But they, they added Vi, right? You know Vi in the game. Yeah, Vi, yeah. She's a, she's a lady, normal woman. She's yeah. got big metal hands with pistons on them, like big power gloves. Yeah, power, yeah. Right? Yeah. And she does these insane punches with them. And then she does like a little dash thing. And then she also does uh, her ult is she basically picks someone up and dunks them into the ground. It's yeah. like a big suplex. Yeah. And this is how you know they're sexist. They added set. Now set <laughs> does the exact same shit as Vi. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I didn't think about that. Minus the gloves. <laughs> it's just yeah, proof that they think that a man can do everything a woman can do, but it's like, he doesn't need the gloves. He's a man. He can just pick up the not, bitch and suplex him. He doesn't need just, the big piston not hands. Not that, but he's, he's literally like better than, uh, than her. Everything. Yeah, better than her he in every way. Better, yeah. He fights better. He does everything better. So they're basically saying, oh, he can do everything the woman does, but better. Yeah. So it's yeah. just. How great would it be if they just removed Vi from the game? <laughs> Vi. He's like, now nah, we have Vi too. Heard it, his name's Set. Bigger and better in every way. Plus, he's male. Mm. I was like, Jesus Christ, that's fucked up. <laughs> I mean, it's, they're just right. He's just better in every way. Men are just, just better. Just facts. 
Just it's just spitting facts. They're just spitting facts right now, honestly. Right. So what they got into a lawsuit because of that? Yeah, they went into a lawsuit. Not because wow. of the set thing, but because, because of, of the, yeah. yeah. Because of the them because fucking of that, yeah. ripping uh bong rips out yeah. of each other's assholes. <laughs> that was not apparently good not a cool game. part about working there. Yeah. yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. It's not looking good at Riot Games though. <laughs> no, not not looking good at all. But that's like Brian's excuse for every time there's like some stupid game design or mm. mechanic that's added. He's just like it's be it's it, if these fucking people would would just pay attention to their game and stop ripping farts out of each other's asses. <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> That's my favorite explanation of it. Like as if they're doing it like it's a bong rip, you know? Just putting yeah. your mouth to the butthole and going <gasps> <laughs> and the whole just thing. Just tearing it out of there. Like the guy doesn't even want to fart. You're just, just ripping like, just it out like, of his body. It's just a pastime over at Riot Games. <laughs> To take a break from game development just to rip farts into each other's mouths direct. <laughs> All right. It's not even like so, hand. You're, uh, you're a streamer guy now, right? Well, attempted streamer guy. Attempted, attempted streamer. I can tell you're eating right now. Yeah. Trying. Okay. So, you, you stream almost every day. Yeah. I've done nothing to help you out. When I'm in a, yeah. such a great position to help you out, by the way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, that's I true. should probably we should probably do some sort of cross promotion because you're in all my videos. <laughs> I should probably do some sort of cross promotion for you, but we'll work on that later for the main channel because these don't get any views. But um, uh, I'm here to give you unsolicited streamer advice. Okay. Since you're a, a streamer starting out, I'm hearing it. It's because I watch some of your streams whenever I'm not in there, and uh, and it needs some work. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Okay, get all in. And you're probably asking, what are my credentials? You know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, I'm still partnered. Okay, even though I haven't streamed True. in over a year, I'm still, still partnered. partner. Still right? partner. So zip your fucking lip <laughs> and listen. I'll, All right, try. so we need to face some hard truths right now if we're going to make yeah, you into just, the... Just go for it. Go for it. I can take okay. it. Hard truth? You're not a woman. <laughs> you have to, you're have you going to have to rely on your personality and humor. You're right. All right, that's a hard thing for a lot of people to realize. Now, there's some people out there like Steve. He's tried streaming for a long time, and Steve's under the impression that um, people want to watch people that are good at games. Oh, God. But that only counts if you're, like, the best. The best at, like, Shroud <laughs> level, you know? Don't fucking you know, see. Like, <laughs> the best. I'm not talking, like, gold. I'm yeah. talking, like, challenger. Like, beyond the the mm. best. Yeah. And, um, and only if it if it applies to every fucking game. But also when you think about it, like even that shroud guy, uh, he's got somewhat of a personality to go somewhat, along with yeah. it. I, yeah. I, I agree. Know? Somewhat. And, uh, and Ninja. That's, that's yeah, well, he's the moment. coolest guy I know. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want to have a beer with Ninja. I would dude. I would, I would love to have an evening with it. I would love to have a formal dinner with Ninja. Just an hour with Ninja. I would just save her for the yeah. rest of my life. Yeah, forever and always. Um, okay, so here's another thing. Uh, let's see here. Okay, you need to get rid of your friends. You always stream with like eight people. Dude, I, I just stream what I'm doing. That's no, 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 why. No no. no, no, no. You're speaking as if you're someone that enjoys streaming. I'm talking about streaming for profit. Streaming to make it big. Because what well, you need to realize is the people that watch streams and the people that will, will latch on to you are the people yeah. that are, uh, uh, they're the lowest of the low. They're the people that the, the highest point of their day is getting online and watching someone else play video games <laughs> yeah, instead right. of simply playing video games by Sim themselves. To play themselves, that's not an option. They're, they're grasping for any human contact. So you right. need to drop all interaction with your friends and exclusively talk to chat. All eyes on them. All eyes on them. Definitely. Right. That's uh, uh, And then next thing you need to do is... Uh, whenever you say something controversial, right, um, yeah. and, and people, you get in trouble for it, you're, you're going to have to fall back and go, hey, that was just a character that I made. <laughs> just a character? This is an act. That's my character. Oh, nice. You know? Uh, actual Sam would never say that. <laughs> that this is the character I've created, you know? Mm. Dummy. And then uh, think of yourself like Robert Downey Jr.'s black guy from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> you know, he could probably get away with saying the N-word because he's I, I, playing I don't a black guy. I think guy. I'm going to get away with it like Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> fucking would or some shit like this. <laughs> no, I, that's I, another thing is you need to always equate yourself to people that are much more talented than you. 
that's a, that's another part about being an internet personality. Like uh, I always liken myself to you know some people liken themselves to just YouTubers that are bigger and better. Mm. Uh, I've skipped that entirely. Some people <laughs> liken themselves to uh, like uh, filmmakers or, or actors that are bigger and better than they'll ever be. I skip that entirely. I like to Powerful. liken myself to uh, Nikola Tesla. You know, just like a oh, okay. genius. Just one of the greats. A genius out of time. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be appreciated seventy five years down the I think, road. I think I see it. You're definitely on his level. You're around there. Yeah, yeah you're in that you're in that zone. Well, yeah. you know how I know I'm on his level? I sit down when I wipe my ass. <laughs> I don't right. I don't exert extra energy to stand up. I could never be on that level standing up. I'm just a subhuman piece yep. just subhuman scum. Just a waste of energy, you know? Yeah. I'm more like, you know, I'm more like shroud level, you're you're more like, you know, fucking you're like on the level of like, yeah. Uh, like I, an Eisenhower or something. <laughs> yeah. You know? Is Eisenhower a good guy? I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I just, it's the first thing. I was trying to think I was of like, of like Eisenhower. I'm like, I don't know. The only thing he did was he made the interstate and he just copied it from fucking Germany. He did some, no, no, no. I've got, I've got, he did some big shit, right? He Eisenhower. Did. Okay, no, he didn't. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah. You think of Teddy Eisenhower. Roosevelt? You think about Teddy Roosevelt? Maybe, yeah. Single-handedly yeah, karate chopped South America in half, made the Panama Canal. I was yeah. like, wait, no, Roosevelt's I was a great even... guy. Wait, no, I was thinking of that scientist guy. No, I, no, I wasn't thinking of a U.S. president. I don't know why. I, I don't know where I got Eisenhower from. Oh, oh even... uh, Oppenheimer. Einstein. I think it was oh, Einstein. Einstein. <laughs> Einstein was a fuck up, dude. All he did was he just knew uh, uh, fancy numbers. I mean, that's it. I mean, you're right, but he, he, yeah. he was a—he was an impactful guy. He, he, he was big. He was, he was in the big leagues. He had that whole E equals MC squared thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was a big deal. You know how I know that guy's full of shit? Because he says one time, he says, pi r squared. And I was like, motherfucker, pies are round. This guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest oh, dipshit I've ever seen. That's when I knew that guy was a fucking idiot. This just shows why you're on the level of these people. Why I you're know, above right? Them. I'm above. I fucking, I just took every, he spent 35 years to say that, and I just flipped it around in one second. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> just, just dismantled his entire life. His career is now over. I mean, it was already it's over. over. He's dead. But yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe I, 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 I want to dig him back up just so I can kick him in the nuts. <laughs> Fuck that dig guy. Dig him back up just so you can fucking bury him again. Yeah. Get him out of here. How much do you think it would cost to dig up Einstein and have him clean my asshole after shit? <laughs> how much do you think? He, how much do you think he'd take just to clean my asshole? Like, do you think it'd be five hundred grand as well? Do you give him more? I've got I plenty know, of money. We, I can we probably have to now. pay all of his living relatives right now. It's a lot of people. Then again, I think some dork that came up with E equals MC squared probably didn't uh, have a whole lot of kids. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I, probably not. He's a fucking nerd. I think he probably couldn't wrap his head around women. <laughs> well. <laughs> he understands numbers, but not women. That's just yeah. how it be. Because call me old fashioned, but I preferred math when it had numbers in it. I don't like it when it's got letters. <laughs> That's just made up shit. All right. I don't even, uh, get what e, what does it even mean though. For real, what does that mean? E, I, don't, I still don't know what that means. E equals mc squared. I don't. Isn't, I that, don't... Uh, isn't that the relativity of time? Oh, oh fucking no! Uh, isn't that what that shit. is? Oh. Or is that beyond me? Theory of relativity. And that the I whole that, basis it, of time way, travel like, is knowing that like is the theory that time is only relative to the uh the I guess the gravity with which it resides. So like things are like uh time slows down near a black hole, but it speeds oh, up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Time yeah. I know all about that. Don't or no no, no it speeds up around a black hole, but from the outside observer it's from the outside down. it would look really yeah. slow, right? I think is yeah. is the meme, yeah. I think that's the meme. Something about that. I've watched Interstellar. I know what I'm talking about. I, I've seen one movie on fucking yeah. space travel and time now, travel. I, I actually made an edit of, you know, that scene where like Matthew McConaughey is sitting there watching all of the backlogs yeah. of his, his daughter's mm. uh, tapes that she sends him over the years. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I was, I watched that and I was like, wow, that's powerful. So then I edited the same thing and I put it um, in there with like a bunch of Alex Jones clips. You know? <laughs> Like he was crying as Alex Jones revealed the truth of the world to him, you know? And then I was like, I'm never going to put this up anywhere. <laughs> so it was like, it was like, he starts crying as like, he starts spitting the really hard truths that nobody fucking <laughs> like <laughs> all the weird I'll put, shit. 
How to ruin such a great moment in a great movie. <laughs> I was like, when I watched it, I was like, people have done this way better and in nah. a different way. And it was just, it was not original. I was like, eh, I'm not going to put it up. You tried. <laughs> yeah, I tried. I tried. Yeah. All right. You want to hear some local shit? Huh? I don't have any. Uh, I went through the um, Twitter thing and nobody sent in any good stuff to talk about in terms of um, therapy. So. I'm not going to have any ask, ask Sam advice section or whatever. I need to come up with a name for this thing. And um, <clears throat> so we'll skip over that. But I do have, <laughs> I do have a fucking great little bit of info that I think I want to show you guys. All right. So um, recently former mayor of Tallahassee, that's where I'm from, Tallahassee, our former mm-hmm. mayor, Andrew Gillum, allegedly, Stalt, make sure to put allegedly. Big, bold text. Allegedly. Big, bold text. And wait, wait, he's the editor. Let's make it weird. Make sure to put allegedly with fire around it. <laughs> make sure it's flashing, too. Flashing. Yeah. Do a neon sign that says allegedly with me naked on top of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, uh, allegedly, he was caught in a hotel room with some bros, right? And what adds credence to the fact that he did this is, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll describe that later. So anyways, he, he was uh, fucking dogs barking. <laughs> Hold on a second. He's interrupting the fucking podcast, dude. <sighs> did you kill Uh-oh. a dog? No, I didn't kill a fucking dog. Dog's barking in the backyard, like right in my goddamn ear. And then I come back and uh, I litter in. And there's a FedEx guy in my front yard. And so I lit her inside. She starts barking like a madman, wakes up my fucking daughter, who's now like sitting in there in the, <laughs> in the oh crib God. going, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> She'll fall back asleep. She's only been asleep for like 45 minutes. I hard scoped her into the crib right before I started this. Actually launched right. her across the room. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, so Andrew Gillum. Checked Mm. himself. This isn't the alleged part. Andrew Gillum checked himself into uh, 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 a hotel room, right? He was caught in a hotel room with two guys. Okay. You need to, you need to see these fucking guys. I want to see them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send them to you on the DM. Is there going to be like a pop-up on, on podcast of these guys? Yes. All right. This is guy number one. Okay. Okay, bro number one. Oh, Jesus and, and, Christ. And this is bro number two. Oh, wait. <laughs> is that the same guys just together? It's the sa- it's, yeah, no, it's it's uh, there was two guys in there. I'm not sure if those are the two guys, but that's one of the guys. Okay. Okay. And yeah. <clears throat> uh, now, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to give these a stalt so we can put them up in the, in the fucking picture frame. <laughs> um, as you can see, uh, that's not the type of guy that you want to be found in a fucking hotel room with. <laughs> if you're a former mayor of a town. So anyways, he was found in there with uh, two hunky, sexy guys, right? Yeah. And one of them was uh, ODing on methamphetamine. <laughs> what the fuck? And they also found a giant bag of methamphetamine. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. And then to add, cr- now this is the whole allegedly thing. These are people that allegedly he f- that he was with in the yeah. hotel room. and uh, uh, But the meth was, I think, a fact. Because then, he, to add credence to it, he checked himself into rehab. You know, you don't check yourself into rehab if you're just hanging out with some bros in a fucking <laughs> hotel bros. room. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I need some bro rehab. <laughs> you know? Okay, so, but my point of view is, it's one thing, um, <laughs> it's one thing to go check into a hotel room with some hunky dudes and let them do hunky dude shit on your ass, right? right. That's fine. Mm. I don't have a problem with that, Mr. Gillum. Go for it, Gillum. Go for it, dude. Whatever you want. You know, it's your world. It's your butthole. Ruin it. I don't care. But meth? Meth? (laughs) (laughs) Like like, a couple bros going freaky on your booty with some pot. I'm okay. But meth? (laughs) Meth (laughs) This guy is already jacked to hell and back. (laughs) This guy could go ape shit on your asshole like a silverback gorilla. Uh, Do you really want him on meth too? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you'll just ruin fucking dude. Gillum, dude. Gillum's going to be done after this. He's going to fucking beat. We'll be oh. able to put that theory of relativity in, into place on his fucking asshole dude, when he turns into a gonna, black hole. Dude, he's going to need one of them fucking bags, dude. One of those bags on the yeah, ass. Yeah, one of those asshole fucking... bags. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> just to catch a, a blood in a sack. Yeah, there's not going to be shit coming out of there anymore, man. It's going to be ruined. 
Jesus. And then not only just some meth, but enough to o- OD one guy. <laughs> Why? That's a that's a fucked up mayor, man. I mean, he shit. Like, he, he seemed like a pretty cool guy, though. I mean, he's time. enjoying himself, right? Yeah, he's like, just he's just vibing. He's vibing with the bros, like just getting railed by two fucking gorilla men on well, meth. Well, I showed Abby that guy, uh, mm. the pictures of the dudes, and then she was just like, "I wish my ass looked like that." <laughs> <laughs> she was like, what, uh, "What's with these guys? They got like perfect onion booties." <laughs> so it's always the first comment from a woman. Yeah, they don't care about the meth. No, they don't. She she had no problem with the meth. It was just the just the fact me. that this man, I feel a nice was, plump ass. Was not only did he have a perfect onion booty, but a perfect onion booty on meth. Because <laughs> meth heads are not known for their yeah, sexy yeah. bodies. They're you always think of like a, yeah. You think of like a meth head. You think of a, a like a skinny, frail little cretin with, you with know? his gums receding. And yeah, everything. fucking no teeth. Just yeah, fucking ugh, yeah. Definitely not an onion booty. Definitely not one of these fucking hunky, beautiful, chunky little snacks. Is it because they do squats? How do I get a oh. nice ass? I That's think, I think I you do know. like squats and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you really need you really yeah. need some tips for this. Let's see yeah. if we can get them on the podcast. Actually, next you know time. what? To be honest, as a guy with a flat ass, if it means if I had to do a bunch of squats, get a beautiful booty, but then I have to start standing up to wipe my ass, you can check me out of that shit. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Not in a million years. I'll keep my flat booty. Thank you. Come on, trade it. It's a good trade off. No, it's not a good trade. And it really is. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. She's still standing expectantly at oh, the edge God. of the crib waiting for me to come in. It's a disaster. <laughs> when she's done with her nap, she just stands there with her hands on the edge of the fucking railing and goes, Father. <laughs> Father, it is time. I've been waiting for you, Father. I've been waiting. It is time now. All right. So, anyways, um, uh, we'll call this an end to the podcast, and the uh, the in about thirty minutes, Abby will be home, and then we'll we'll play some league. Yeah, <laughs> Poggers. That's how we react. Poggers. Yeah. Fuck this waste of time.